So we'll start off with the fuel pressure regulator with the small transfer tube. And we've already lubricated the O-rings. But we'll add a little extra shot of the silicone spray. So that one goes in the side. You can feel it got in there. Now it's tight. And if the O-ring if this system just pulled out, then like w without a bunch of force, if it just pulled out, then you know that that O-ring is either worn out or too small. So now we've got this one and this return line O-ring is going to get one more little shot with some silicone spray. And then with that O-ring, it's going to be pressed into there, into the fuel pressure regulator. And the fuel pressure regulator is going to get pushed into the fuel rail. A nice tight fit. Next. We'll take the short transfer tube and we'll shoot both sides of the O-rings real quick. All right, now this one presses in there. Nice firm fit. Long transfer tube goes right into there. Shoot the O-rings. I've already cleaned these uh, these bores out. Okay, nice tight fit. Now we have these bores here. Press that system together. Make sure that uh, when you're installing them that the o-ring doesn't get pinched there. If you see it start to deform while you're pushing it in, stop and go back. You see it's going in. Now that those are pushed together, the O-rings are seated in there, all of them are in. So now we've got the O-ring there, the fuel pressure regulator, the two O-rings that run this side, two here, two there. So now we need to mount this rail, this uh, return line. There's one bolt that goes in there, so we start that one. This isn't the factory fastener. The other one was missing, so it's just gonna have to do. So it's got a lock washer on it. So I didn't tighten that all the way. Next thing is this bracket. This bracket goes down here. So that bracket attaches like that. And it holds the line in place. You can see the little uh, extra divot right there. That goes down inside that hole for the fuel pressure regulator O-ring. Not very much, but it goes in there. So, bolts. That one goes in there. That one goes in the other side.
And these are all going to be hand tight until we get further along here. Not even going to be hand tight at this point. T25. Get it in there straight to begin with. Now that that's in there, all of them are lined up. I'm gonna hold the fuel line, and a bolt that hold a bolt goes through there that holds the fuel the rails to the intake manifold. So those four are ready to be tightened and then these retainers this recessed area on the retainer goes into the actual rail like that so that recess goes into that hole to hold the transfer tube in place So let's start that one. And there's three more that go in. They, that recess right there always goes into the ring bore. So we'll put all four of these in and then we'll tighten this down. So that re that lock, the retainer, will hold the hold pressure against this transfer tube. So we'll do the others and there's one long bolt that goes on the back side of the fuel pressure regulator to hold it to the, the right fuel rail. So we have seven bolts that hold the fuel rail assembly together. They're all T25s and they all have 44 inch pounds, not foot pounds, but inch pounds. And we have an inch pound torque wrench that goes to down to 44, actually goes down to 20. So these bolts all get torqued to 44 inch pounds. Start here. Click. All right, double clicker. So we'll continue torquing these down. Just wanted to give you an idea of what it sounds like.